Jesus is natural for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supernatural is natural for me. Supernatural. Supernatural. Oh, natural for me. It's Friday and we are thanking God for the life that we have. I don't even remember what day, what lockdown number day it is, but we're just carrying on. Do you know when was what day it is? But we just eh? 70 something. <laughs> So, but we're just carrying on, taking a day at a time and enjoying our lives, even though we know today there are some real issues that we are facing. But guess is a wins and giant because we can't change the situation. But what we can do is to convince and also encourage ourselves. Maybe for me, it makes sense why David said, I will encourage myself in the Lord. Maybe it's because he was facing other situations that he could not change. And I said, no, what? I know what I can encourage myself. Uh, so that is what we are doing also as a car radio and also as a, a wing of car TV. Ministries. Today we are just going to pray uh, in this hour that we have. Nam Sanje Bikatin Kabang and Gitia. Um actually uh, I've been receiving a calls, people wanting us to pray for them because obviously Mababe beginning as 
And then I was thinking, which you know what, people are depending on other people for survival. That's the system of this world, Duguti. In Jongo Banji, the pandemic corner, businesses have been closed down. And it's the truth because Habanya Banji, they've lost him, Sabins. But no magunja alo. Same scenario as this is rained the corner. Elen Lord Yetu is not saying no uh, uh, as much as Tampa there is grace, but still they need a payment because now they are bills that they need to pay. This thing is a cycle, Ganji. Sometimes Omunye will come and say, please pray for me. They are evicting me. They are sending me out. And then you realize which even Naleo landlord maybe was depending on that money. So manje masengeko income e figai. No manga back to your time to go by grace. Abanye they are failing to convince themselves because they need to live, they need to fulfill uh, the needs that they have in Belinza. So this time is very challenging because as much as you can want to be angry at the landlord or the, whoever, schools wanting school fees, yeting and is yes, colony, yeah, bona, because now what is up for now, be pillar, especially those who are in a private school, yeah, bona, even though they go to uh, in this private school, they've made some means, we think, and a fund, makai. But still, it's putting, putting a lot of strain, Kubazali, and then you find, you see, at the end of the day, we, you have to pay full amount of your school fee, even though we not doing um sevens, like part of um sevens. You see, it's a system. That is why, I think that is why, as you just go to, it's a system, it's a system, it's a system, and we find ourselves as a bantanabangkulunkulu, eh, Having it hard to apply system as a Zulwinlem Saben because Uma Obe Upon the way to a or you find yourself not fitting in and you find yourself putting Genza Ganjani when everybody else is using the system as a Saben, a Minang Zobaranjan different get. So those are the things that you need to realize and also have a way you go to in Zaranjan. That is why I'm having this soil Friday. You go to let us meditate, not much. Uh, is like praying and being vocal but going inside because at the end of the day please help me and pray for me i don't have a rent and they are taking me out i don't have a solution except to say let me pray for you and also no man gang am kulege li fie nenge na indle le ukuthi ayikhambe down then it's going to be a lot of damage that happens even giena na kubantwana if ku ukuthi khona abantwana noma ma family members so but if we can master this thing of being quiet inside of having peace inside no matter what is happening outside then we will find ourselves being able to go on no manga back to our wenza galan so sizo kulega ke manje we are going to meditate. I will lead you in a meditation. But as I was just thinking about this thing that happening, like it, 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 as much as the government has, has said, nobody is allowed to evict anyone, but there are people who have been evicted who are left not knowing good buzzwords and John. So our heart goes out to those people. We are feeling what they are feeling because at some point now we are in the same, uh, in the same uh, in the same we we understand what they are going through so give peace and you see as his colleague uh, if now we are one of those people who end up not knowing what you're going to do what you're gonna eat we would say uh, let us trust the lord as much as the reality is the reality but if you can have peace inside then we'll be able to uh, to survive this time um la payana go look chapter 9 verse 58 uh, Jesus replied, Foxes have dens and beds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. You know, Jason, I was in a place where he did not have a house, maybe like a place to sleep at the time. And we are sure that he is in the But I am not in the house. I am so now at this time, I just want to strengthen you. But with the Jesus that you worship, he knows how it's like to be in the position that you are in. But most of all, you need to trust him. And also trust that 
Because when I was thinking about this, receiving all these calls that I'm receiving, I was thinking, you know what? Um, uh, what if somebody loses everything? What are you going to do if you wake up one day and then everything that you've worked for is gone? And the truth is, people, we are, we, we know there are people who are living that life now. But in time to go, Shuguti, even if you can, you lose everything, but you, you don't, you never live, you'll never lose God, you'll never lose Jesus. Sometimes when we pray and we preach in, and you preach in a good space and everything is, 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 is happening well, you know, things are happening and we have things, we have material things. Yeah, but we find ourselves blessed into the show Lula. But in this time, that is where Lao Mazi, Ekfuna Lutabe, reality in Pilunyage. So, this meditation again, I'm Sanje. I want us to go straight to that direction where we say we know what is happening, but can we have peace within us? And if we have peace within us, then I know that we will be able to be, to be sustained. And knowing, Guti, we never lose a chase. Chase, Ushali, nothing as a song is cut. But when we lose things, sometimes. We have made this in Dozaba equal to Jesus Christ. Because sometimes you say, Lokuguti, what if I lose things? What will people say? Where will I go? What will happen into my life? But what I want us to do right now is to realize that all is well. You have everything. And then God is going to take care of you. Actually, he's actually taking care of us even now. It's just that we haven't made ourselves to be aware of his presence all the time. We think Ogotuba corner because Magu Konis in Desen Zagalai. But we need to make ourselves used to the fact and the truth that He is always with us. So, yeah, our heart goes out to those who are having our demands because other people also have their demands. When people have pressure, they take that pressure and put it to those people about the by solution in Pilunzab. Now, I was thinking, Guti, what if Gempela? Uh, and nobody comes in the truth is if nobody comes into your room or no supplies comes in no matter no income comes in you're still gonna deal with the same problem that you had when you thought the tenant you're going to force the tenant now under pressure now when you are faced with an empty room and your house is empty nobody comes in how, what, what are you going to do at that time? It means you go. You need to go back to that mode. You will see, be able to survive even when nothing comes in. Uh, yeah, so our prayer is going to be based on that. And those who have, please look for, if somebody asks for help, if you can, please let us help them because they are so desperate. So, but don't feel bad if you can't help anyone. We don't want to invite any negativity. We don't want to invite any condemnation because there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Actually, when you see somebody suffering and you feel they are suffering uh, instead of being compassionate and then realize that you can even send love to them, you can send prayer to them, and you feel guilty as if you've done something in Bilun Zabanoma, you should be doing something and you feel guilty. If Ungenawama means when you feel guilty, you've just, in, you've just introduced something that you don't need in your life. Instead, feel compassionate. There is something that you can do. You can just send a blessing to them and be uh, and be uh, convinced and know see, that blessing is really going to do rather than being guilty so we are going to go and pray again we are just going to follow me i will have a ma instructions that i will be saying will ask pomzil to play songs for us if headphones Okay. When I look at some gape, we go to Konangi so we go to Nigeria. We go to my instructions. So and then we are going to go forward. This is Lalela Gumtulo Manje as we are going to start. So tell us, this is Lalelo Itulo. Thank you. 
yes so what are we going to do right now because our intention is to make our heart healed is to be at peace even in this shaking world is to remove any judgment that we might have and be aligned with God and also be aligned with you because if you are aligned with God and we are one with you then you will be able to help other people effectively you will be able to, when you pray for people you will pray them coming from a place of fullness not from a place of emptiness you'll be able to help people or pray for them or send them love coming from a place of love not from a place of fear so right now take a deep breath and hold it and then let go breathe in hold and let go breathe in hold and let go for the last time breathe in and hold and then let go so this breathing allows the oxygen to come in into your body. Actually, there's nothing like spiritual about it or why now do we have to make it kube fashion to pethmula which is just assisting you to breathe in because in times like this people breathe shallow. It's like you breathe there on top because you are anxious, you are worried, but when you breathe in being aware of your breathing your body will thank you because it gets flooded with all the oxygen that it needs because the oxygen when it goes into the body including the water and when you drink water it allows the body to take out the toxins and also at the same time it allows the body to regenerate itself to build more cells to breathe to build cartilage to heal itself so those are the things that you need to drink a lot of water and make sure that you breathe a lot and then your body will thank you so now we are going to activate our senses so as you're sitting right there relaxing continuing to breathe just be aware of of your sight with your claw with your eyes closed what do you see We are going to go to the sense of smell, take a deep breath and pay attention to the sense that you can pick up. The food in the house, the smell of food, the smell of your perfume, whatever it is. And once I've just caught, given a command, I'm going to be silent so that I give you an opportunity to pay attention. Now we're going to go to the taste just taste what is the taste that is in your mouth maybe you've just eaten maybe you've just brushed your teeth pay attention to that taste to do the feeling 
What do you feel? Maybe the air against your skin. Maybe the clothes against your skin. Your body against the chair, or maybe there's, for me, there's this tablecloth touching me. What are you feeling? And now we're going to go to the hearing one. Just hear all the sounds that you can hear. For me, because I'm wearing my earphones, I only hear the, the music and the hissing. What are you hearing? Pay attention to all the sounds that you are hearing now. Take a deep breath and breathe out. So what are we gonna do now? I just felt led to do this. We're just going to say, I see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I see beauty. I see all things are working out for me. I see the love of God shuddering or covering the earth. I see peace. I see joy. I see solutions coming into my life. And smell. I smell the beautiful aroma. I, see, I smell the, the goodness of the Lord. Things are working out for me. I can smell that there are things coming into my life. I can smell the presence of the Lord around me. I taste, I taste that the, God, the Lord is good. I taste how it tastes like the taste of beauty, the taste of peace, the taste of love the taste of abundance in my life, the taste of solution, the taste of all things working well for me. I feel, I feel the beauty, I feel the touch of God over my life. I feel his hand covering me. I see his hand protecting me. I see his hand, I feel his hand touching my life. I feel that God is moving in my favor. I can feel that there is something coming towards me. I don't see. I see it. I feel it by faith in Jesus' name. And hearing, I can hear the sound of the mighty moving things, beautiful things coming to me. I can see the sound of the ocean. I can hear the sound of the ocean. I can hear the sound of the rain, of revival touching me right now. I can hear God's voice speaking to me. I can hear God saying, my beloved. I can hear God saying, things are working out for me. I can hear God say, I have, go I have beautiful thoughts for you. I love you, my child. I can hear God giving me that affirmation and that assurance that he is with me. And I'm just going to give you just a minute for you to just feel that and absorb that. Enjoy it. So 
now we're going to go to the next activity you normal know, next meditation where we are going to align our mind with our heart because it's important that your mind and your heart are one in their thinking oneness in you sometimes we want oneness to be revealed in the earth whereas we are not one with ourselves our mind is thinking something else whereas our heart is wishing something else but now we are going to make ourselves to be one one minded the heart and the mind they are almost the same thing but they are different and the heart has a mind of its own and the mind is a mind on its own so what I want you to do is to place your heart over your your hand over your heart if you want you can put your fingers there or you can put your whole heart and imagine you touching your physical heart imagine your heart being placed literally over your heart with our imagination we can do absolutely everything so imagine that your heart your hand is actually over your heart and put your awareness over your heart and as you breathe in and out see your heart moving in the rhythm of your breathing see it being pushed out like imagine it expanding and contracting as you breathe in and out make sure that your attention is not in your head but your attention is in your heart lower it down down to your heart we're teaching ourselves to do things with our heart than our head our mind has a place of its own but now we're teaching ourselves to do things and to think with our heart and as you breathe in and out allow peace to come into your heart and actually feel how peace feels like the interpretation of peace how is it interpreted how does it feel like when your heart is filled with peace how do you feel yes lord jesus we thank you and we bless you then allow love to be poured in into your heart how is it love how does it feel like when you have love in your heart and it's filled uh, until it overflows we say this that our cups overflows but let us allow love peace to overflow in our hearts that is our cup it's overflowing with love it's overflowing with peace love 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 yes Lord. and then now we are going to allow joy to come into our hearts and we are going to allow joy to fill us until joy overflows we don't want we don't want to wait for something to happen so that we have joy we don't want somebody to give us something so that we have joy we have joy now the kingdom of god is righteousness joy peace in the holy ghost so we are just allowing joy to come in our hearts thank you jesus And if you feel like smiling and actually expressing that joy that is not connected to anything but it's joy that stands alone the joy that is unconditional the joy that is there that is the joy that you are looking for and I would like to ask you to smile and smile Smile, smile with your heart and allow it to come into your face. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay.
Okay, now mix those peace, joy, and love in your heart. Mix it together. Allow it to like all over you. Allow it to flood you. Now we're going to take this love because it's feeling us. It's overflowing. We're just going to send it to the whole world. Or maybe if we want, we can just say, we want to send it to our community. We just wanted to send it to South Africa. So now you are this pumping energy. This love, this joy, this peace is the spirit. Sometimes you'll find people saying it's the energy, it's the frequency. They're, those words mean the same thing. They mean the spirit. It means you can send it every, anyway by just sending it out intentionally. So take this and then just disperse it all around you as far as you can go. Just send the love as far as you can go. Send the peace as far as it can go. See it as waves permeating people's houses. Those who are troubled see the peace coming inside and bringing itself to them. See love entering their houses and bringing himself because God is love. See God entering people's houses. See joy like a fragrance, like flowers booming, coming into people's houses. We are sending this love. We are sending this joy. We are sending this peace all over the world, all over the earth in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says we are the light of this world. And we put our light so that it shines for everyone. So that is what we are doing. We are sending the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And when we are doing this, we know that it's happening. We know that it is actually taking place. We are going to wait for, we are going to expect to see the results. But the results are not being done by us, but they are done by being done by God himself. Now I know that maybe you have this one person or maybe these people, maybe they've grinded you, touched you the wrong way. Maybe you have this bitterness, this pain against these people because maybe they've done something. Take that person, put them before you. Take that landlord that is requiring the rent from you and is being so harsh, put him before you right now. And then just say, I love you. I wish you peace and I wish you joy. And then flood him with love, peace, and joy. For me, I love to do this. I just like flood them and I see Babonebewa that this love and this joy will push them so hard that they will fall down. And then when they stand up, there will be a new creation. And when they stand up, I will realize that after all, I love these people. So send them love. Maybe it's people, people from your past that when you think about them, there's this pain in your heart. Just send them love. Send them peace and send them joy. Because it's coming from your heart. You started by feeling that in your heart. So you can't hold bitterness because love drives out all fear. It means it drives out every anger, any bitterness. It drives it out. Yes. Now we know that Our world is healed. We see peace. We see joy. We see goodness. We see things taking, turning around. And we see things working out 
we see God working things out for our good. We see God's hand working, touching, and restoring, restoring things even to a better glory than what they were before. We see God putting people relationships together. We see God healing our land because we decided to connect to him and we allowed him to pour himself through us. Let the name of Jesus be praised. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Haroba sondo robo boshi karaba bosiente. Nawe la pekaya vumelu moya gangu lungo la glide le life funu gutu yekon. Riarosha karaba sanda raba boshi. Riende re rebesi kala baba sanda raba basiente. Riarora raba karo raba basanta la baba Sirahando robo bosi ente rele beshi karaba basaya. Riende rele beshi karaba basaya la baba yonto robo bosi ente. Riando shia karamanda raba basi ente. Riba bosanda raba basaya raba boyente. Jaraba kando robo bosi kacha speak in tongues. Riando shia karabanda raba basaya. Riende rele beshi karaba basi ente rele beshi ka. Nirorosha riahara makanda rababasai. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We exalt your holy name. We exalt your holy name. We feel the connection. We feel that we are connected to you. We know that we are connected to you even when we don't feel it. But today... It's a bonus that we can feel it, Lord, and we are so grateful for that. So I'm just going to give you a moment for you to just be quiet and enjoy what the Lord is doing now. Don't forget to breathe the breath of life, the Holy Spirit. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
so the next step this will be I just feel that there are people who are asking God for healing in their bodies and there are those who are saying what am I going to do now because we, we can't even we're not even able to go to church but I just want to assure you that the healing is closer than you think so what I want you to do right now for those because I can feel those calling healing 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 what I want you to do is to imagine yourself as an open container like imagine yourself open and healing coming from God as the light comes the Bible says it come the Sun comes with healings with healing in its wings so I want you right now to imagine the light coming from Jesus Christ coming inside you and filling you touching your head I don't know why is it that you are sick but we're just going to cover every area see this light touching your mind your brain healing your brain from overthinking see your mind lighting up see your mind being lightened by this light which symbolizes the healing your eyes your eyes are healed your throat some of you you have pain here because whenever you are anxious some of you you carry the weight of worry in your throat allow it to come and for, for the healing to soothe it out the back of your head your neck your shoulders your arms your joints and your fingers your chest because of this pandemic some of you have this pain some of you are coughing just allow this healing to come and heal your and heal your neck your throat your heart your stomach Put your hands over yourself. You'll lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. Lay your hands on yourself. The spirit man is laying your hands on you because your inner man never gets sick. He doesn't get sick. Your hips speak healing on that hip. Your legs, your thighs, your knees speak healing on those knees. Maybe you are lying on your bed. Maybe you can't move. Just touch the areas of your body with your imaginative hand. Your legs, your ankles, your toes, your feet. Now allow this light to flash you to like. Sometimes I don't have words. Of what I see is like allow it to fill you, allow it to fill you as a heavy current, healing every area in your body. If you feel pain, touch, lay your hands more on that area. Yes, I am healed. I am healed in Jesus' name. Healing is the bread, is my portion. 
is my birthright. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So now we are going to do a last part. All of us, we have a need of some sort. We have desires of some sort. Now we are going to go to a level, a portion of manifestation where we allow those things that we've asked for from God to come into our lives. We are going to up, open ourselves up to be able to allow those things to come to us. What is this, that thing that you are asking from God? And I would like to ask you right now, how will it feel like when you receive that thing in your life? How will you feel? Will you feel relief? Maybe for people who are asking for rent, if somebody can come now and give you that, maybe say 10,000 that you're owing, or maybe 800 rents, or maybe to a lowest money, like 200 rents for rent. If somebody comes and gives that amount of money, how will you feel like? Some will say relieved. Some will say excited. Some will say thankful. Can you take that feeling and just feel as if you're holding it and you're placing it inside you and just feel it? What will you do when you get that thing that you are asking God for? The Bible says when you pray, believing that you have received what you prayed for, then it will come. Okay? If you believe that you've received it, then the thing will come. So the key here is to know that what you are asking for, you've already received it. You're already holding it in your hands. So you must feel that way right now. And then it will come. Yes, Lord. For me, I will feel limitless i will feel freedom will you jump will you scream who will you call if that miracle happens right now how will you act imagine yourself doing just that because it is already done it is finished jesus says on the cross it is finished. Whatever that you will need, whatever that you will want, realize that I've already done it. It is finished for you is to believe that you already have it. is already done and I would like you to thank the Lord right now because it's already there your rent is already paid provision has already been provided healing has already been provided whatever it is that you're looking for or asking for is already done in Jesus name father thank you for provision thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, Father, for taking care of us. Thank you, Father, for going before us and making sure, Lord, that you, you fill us with joy. We give a praise, the glory, and the honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the paid rent. Thank you for healing. Thank you for the school fees. Thank you for food. And you have said, Father, when we pray, you have even given us the ability to stand and pray on behalf of our fellow brothers. And even right now, Father, as I'm standing right now, I'm standing, Father, praying and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for, provide, for providing for us. Thank you, Father, for answering the prayer. 
Thank you, Father, for sending your angels because your angels, they still exist even today. Thank you, Father, for your grace that abounds. Thank you for the love that abounds. Thank you for the peace that abounds. Thank you, Father, for everything that is good that abounds because every, every good and perfect gift come from you. We just want to say thank you, Father, that your eyes are upon us and your heart is upon us, O oh God. There is no time that you have you have given us your back, O oh God. Except when Moses said to Tolubon, he only saw your back. But your eyes are always on us. And you said in your word, you do not sleep. You don't slumber. You are always aware of what goes on around us. Even right now, Father, we just want to say thank you. Because we know that you are aware. I guess it's a punyu and kulunkuluami. I guess it was a wense and put a wena. I guess and kulunkuluamuti benga bonanga. But we know kulunkuluetong wele. But you are always in control in Jesus name sinabura kazara bashanda rababosike rendele bebeshika rababosiente lebebeshika we are kamanga ria kadosia ura babasanda lababosiente ribabanda lababosiente ariana ribabosende lebebeshika riando roboboshika rababasianda riendere lebebeshika rababosika yento roboboshanda lababoyente yendere bebesie Thank you, Father, that you always have good thoughts for us. Even when we can see ourselves going through the valley of the shadow of death. But we are so grateful that we are not alone. Thou art with me. Thou art with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. You live in us, Father. You are within us, oh God. You live in our hearts. You rule in our hearts. How can we say we are alone when you are with us, oh God? We are so grateful that even when we are asleep, you are there. Even when we are awake, you are there. You are moving things around. You are shifting things around. You are putting things in order, God. You are preparing a table in front of our enemies, oh God. But our intention even right now is that we are going to invite our enemies to come and sit with us and eat with us, oh God, because we have a heart of you. We have your heart. We have a heart like yours. A heart like yours is our desires. A heart that loves even our enemies is our desire, oh God, to think like you, to see see like you, to speak like you, to even act like you. It is our dear our Shika. We even see ourselves, oh Father, speaking like you, acting like you, walking like you, doing things like you. Hallelujah. We see ourselves living a victorious life. Ora babosika la baboshiente, riba banda la babosika la baboshika, riba bonto la baboshika la babosiente, ramanda la baboshiente le babosika, magnifying your kingdom here on earth. Because already your kingdom has already come, oh God. You're just looking for people who are going to allow your kingdom to manifest. And we say, Father, use us. We are here as your instrument. For your kingdom to be revealed in Jesus mighty name. Righteousness, joy, peace in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, joy, peace in the Holy Ghost. And that is the kingdom of God. And we seek, if we seek first the kingdom. And all these things shall be added unto us. All the things that we've been desiring. All the things that we've been asking for. We already have them father. Because we are in your kingdom. Let your name be glorified. We love you so much. We adore you. We exalt you. Our eyes and our hearts are in you. Our presence is in you. We are hidden in you and in Jesus Christ. Ah, Kosi, Siabong, Uncle Ogutu shall never be the same again. Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. The Lord is good and he is good all the time. All the time. I believe that you are blessed. I am blessed. <sighs> God, 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 God. What we are just doing here today is something that I would like you to do on your own. Uh, yeah. Even for those who've been crying, what I see, am I so doing? You know, God is always with us. God is not in the building, but God is in us. Yes, we are anticipating to come together because the Bible says we must not forsake to be together because there is a secret when people come together with one mind and in one heart, they create this volcano, they create this tsunami of, of forces of love, of peace. And when people come together, when their hearts are healed and with their hearts are filled with love, with joy, and when, come, when they come together, even the area that they are gathering in gets healed. So I believe me, that God wanted, wanted to create a new thing, to build a new thing, so that you understand that our hope is not in the building, but our hope is in him. And then when we come back again, and we gather up again, it will be a new thing altogether. So I believe which while we are still at home and we use this technique that I've just shown you today, your life will be transformed. And if you do what I've just shown you today, even your thinking, you'll have ideas. I don't know how many ideas I have and the connection that I have with God because I'm doing this technique. So I'm just saying adopt it, make it your own, tweak it a little bit modify it and make it your own in jesus name for me i'm just giving you an idea but you can make it better listen to your inner man listen to your spirit he will guide you in jesus name there is not there's absolutely no one way of doing something i know that we have been raised in a place where we say do this thing like this but what if you go to a place where you can't go on your knees, where you can't shout, when you can't speak because it's not allowed? Will you not pray because you want to shout when? Will you not pray and say, you know what, I'm going to ask a because in this place I cannot shout. You will, you will make some means. You'll find a way. Even right now, we found a way. Even people who are saying, no, we need to be in churches. Churches are closed, but we are finding a way to be together. So there's always another way. So keep positive. Keep thinking positive. Eka Melia, just I wanted to leave you with the scripture. Nam as we close. Which is Lapa John 10, verse 10. We see, the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But he, Jesus, that lives within us, he is Jesus, his Holy Spirit and God all together in us. Which I came that you may have life and have it in abundance. I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. What interpretation, uh, what interpretation are you giving to that scripture? Is it real right now in the situation during this pandemic? I want to say to you, even right now, life is in abundance. You just need to receive that truth and allow it to be your truth and let it live in you. And because when you allow it to live in you, miracles are going to happen in Jesus' name. Having said that, I just want to say I love you. I, uh, I honor you. I praise you. I pray for you. I wish you well. And I pray that God, I know know that I, uh, I pray. I know that God is taking care of you and he will lead you to green pastures and he has all things prepared for you in Jesus' name. You just need to allow this and realize this. As one as one Sunday, 11 to 12, this is obviously Konza, Ekamen Liga Jesu online, as a Jobasi Sazuguti, 
my restrictions are second so we decided to go to yes we are going to worship online up until we go be lulu go to slangan see a bona foot number cases to tie a new so what we want to encourage you to keep safe there is this thing that is being predicted by ama health official number city j who who the world health organization who would say they are still going to be more deaths because of my infections i and i know then that there are some people who are in denial who are saying there is no corona but the truth is we can't say that because if you say that you haven't proven it we have seen people being affected uh, so as much as we pray but please take the precautions that are given wash your hands put your mask when you're going outside and then pay attention to your body and then if go to the doctor and again come back and do this exercise that you've just did today it's very 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 effective i know because i've used it i am using it and i love it may the lord bless you seven o'clock don't miss him as he will be speaking with the the, the prophets that he has uh trained uh he's preparing something good for today so don't miss it it's mind-blowing and it's also encouraging in jesus name see you tomorrow love you for those who joined me today i just want to say i shout out to you bongi and my trim bam song or my new tabete pumzile kumalo cause a brightness only the happy sale pumla kaba dobe makeba a unungum seleku a sabelo mapanga a uma uh utembe gamsani a uza nele faith who's in the mini akona the mini bishop temba mkati reverend nana copy the costa over there and the cpc the mini i just want to say thank you and all those who watched who are not mentioned here i just want to say it's a blessing to spend time with you Continue believing in yourself, embrace yourself, embrace God first because God must be number one in your life and then embrace yourself and then embrace other people. The way you're going to embrace them will be a reflection of how you embrace yourself. Let's see each other next week. Uh, oh, send me the next week. Oh, next week is Zobon. God, let's see each other next week. Love you.